Are you studying for the Amateur Radio Technician License Exam? This one trick may be your key to success. When you're working towards taking the technician license exam, the bulk of the information you're required to know uh, may seem overwhelming. Fortunately, there is a way in which you can break things down in a simple manner and easily review all of the questions that may appear on the test. Premier Flashcards has reproduced the entire Amateur Radio Element 2 question pool onto convenient flashcards. These cards have all 412 questions of the 2022 to 2026 technician pool printed on them. In full disclosure, Premier Flashcards did send me a set of these cards in exchange for a review, but they have not otherwise influenced what I'm about to say. First off, let's talk about the cards themselves. The entire set of cards come in a sturdy cardboard box. The cards are printed on 130 pound coated paper stock that are durable and water resistant. On one side of the cards are the questions with the four answer choices. And on the back side, the correct answer in bold along with the distractors is printed. The pocket size cards are roughly two and a half by three and a half inches in, in size. The cards come bound together all in order by sub element. This gives you the opportunity to either study the course materials by section or you can shuffle the deck and randomize the questions. But I recommend keeping the cards grouped by sub element as it makes learning the, the process much more manageable. Premier flashcards are made in America and published by Army Flashcards, a small veteran-owned company that specializes in producing cards for a variety of military and non-military subjects. Why flashcards, you may ask? Aren't they outdated? Well, flashcards are a proven and effective form of learning. The tactile nature of these cards allow you to group and refer back to particular topics or questions you may be struggling with. These cards are portable and can be used uh, unlike your phone or digital device, without distraction. But flashcards alone shouldn't be your only means of learning the ham radio technician license. Brute force memorization of the question pool is inefficient and seldom pays off. Instead, they should be used in conjunction with another method, such as class, book, study guide, video, or audio series. As you learn the concepts of the license, the cards will present to you the test questions in a format that will be recognizable when you see them on the exam. So how do you effectively study with flashcards? Well, back in the 1970s, German science journalist Sebastian Leitner unlocked the secret for flashcard studying. His system, the Leitner method, has proven to be an effective means of learning and memorizing information from flashcards. The trick is to use boxes and repetition to sort the cards and improve recognition. The easiest way to explain it is to show it in action. Let's break down a flashcard study session. You'll need three boxes. Box one will hold your daily study session cards. Box two holds every other day study cards. And box three, the weekly study cards. As you start, the first box holds all of your cards. Every day during your study session, you will work on the cards in box one. As you look at the card and get the answer correct, the card will get moved into to box number two. If you look at the card and get the answer wrong, it stays in box number one. This allows you to consistently study the material you are having difficulties with and promote the material that is more familiar. Then every other day, or at a less frequent interval, you will look at the cards in box number two. These are all questions that you have previously gotten right, so you should be more confident in that material. If you look at the card and get the answer right again, that is a sign that you know that information and less review of it is required. It can go into box number three. If you get the answer wrong, the card moves back down to box number one for more study. This sorting process is key to Leitner's method of spaced repetition of the subject matter. I'm just going to jump in and say that if you found this video interesting and want to see more like it, hit like and subscribe. That's my indicator to produce more of these types of videos. Thank you for your support. Box three is the weekly box. These are the cards that you are consistently answering right and are the most confident in, of the material. 
Since the knowledge is imparted to your brain, a weekly review of their content is all that's necessary. If you review a card in box number three and get the answer wrong, oh, don't worry. Just drop it back down to box number two for a little bit more study. As you move along with your flashcards, you'll see the progression of cards moving from box one to box two and to finally to box three. Filling up the third box is an indicator of progress and a sure sign that you are learning the material. As you can see, the Leitner method is a very effective learning process. It uses the concept of spaced repetition, which is reviewing the materials at systematic intervals. This is an active recall method of studying. You are studying and testing yourself in a self-directed manner. By separating the easy and the harder questions into boxes, you'll find yourself spending more time studying the material you are unfamiliar with and less time with the simple stuff. Premier flashcards are available online at armyflashcards.com or Amazon. Links to the products can be found in the video description down below. So how do you like to study? Are flashcards part of your routine? I'd love to hear and uh, share those techniques. So please leave a comment down below. Otherwise, that's it for this time. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day in 73.